Greetings payroll. Uh, today I'm going to do a training on how to have a uh, fun and safe time shooting sage rats out here in uh, northeastern Oregon, town of Burns, or actually out the outside of Burns. Uh, generally I pay to play, I pay to get access to private property. Uh, even though I do this, I'm still responsible for uh, you know, the equipment, the livestock, things like that. So I have to be vigilant of all that when I come into somebody's property and, and uh, shoot. Um, anyhow, uh, one of the things that you have to be aware of when you come into a piece of property is basically the landscape. Uh, when I come in, first thing I do is I kind of get a good idea of... Uh, again, where all the irrigation equipment is, houses, livestock, uh, things like that. Also, <clears throat> when I get out of my truck, you got to be careful of all the holes because there's a lot of holes that the uh, sage rats and badgers and whatnot, they dig up. So you got to be careful, otherwise you could, you know, break an ankle, a leg, whatever. Um, also, um, when I get ready to set up my shooting bench, I try to find the highest vantage point so I have the best field of view to find my targets. Um, so uh, I'm going to take you over here and I'll show you uh, some of the safety equipment I use when I uh, come out shooting. So I'm going to turn this around. If I can. Okay, just, just for a kind of give you an idea where I'm at. This is, uh, again, outside of Burns, Oregon. I think this is actually technically diamond. But this is the area that I'm shooting in. It's a big area. It's really nice, beautiful weather. And again, if you look down at some of the holes, you can see where well, I'm talking about you have to be safe because you could trip and hurt yourself. Uh, they're all over the place. Today I brought out three, um, today I brought out three rifles. And here are two of them. Uh, brought my three favorite rifles today. Uh, this one is a 223. It's very nice. That one's a 17 Hornet. Love it. It's a nasty little bullet. And then over here on my shooting bench uh, is my 223 Wild, which is a 223 round that shoots a heavy bullet, bucks the wind because I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is pretty nasty out here. Uh, what I bring with me when I come out shooting, whether it's even whether it's shooting out here or at a range, I always have water. Uh, I want to stay hydrated because if you get dehydrated, it'll be hard to see. You'll get blurry vision and you won't be able to see the targets very well. Um, I have uh, ear protection. I got eye protection. Two things that are really important um, because you don't want to bust your drums when. Uh, you uh, pull the trigger okay also what you see here is a um this is a range finder and these are a pair of binoculars and the reason for that is is the binoculars help me find other things i need to be aware of when i'm out shooting uh like if you look over here you can see horses so there's horses there um you know there's uh, irrigation pipe and one of the things that I don't know if you can see is and again it's hard to see without binoculars is there a pipe running along the ground so you got to be very much aware of that because you don't want to you know put a hole in somebody's irrigation or you know shoot a horse that wouldn't be too good um, anyhow so basically that's what the binoculars come in handy for and also it helps find your targets range finder uh, I like that because you can range like how far you're shooting uh my guns are set up at 100 yards that means i'm zeroed in at 100 yards also uh, on this particular gun i can dial in uh, my yardage so if i'm shooting out farther i can go ahead and dial it in you know to whatever i uh sorry here we go there we go so basically i can dial it in for longer shots. Um, also, one of the things I use, not necessarily out here, but it's a great safety, uh, it's a great safe, uh, safety 
uh, piece that I use, especially when I go to uh, a range and it's mandatory. And if you're shooting around other people, uh, it's always good to have two. And this is a chamber flag. Uh, when uh, you're done shooting or you want to change, uh, you want to take a break, um, get something to drink, whatever. It's always a good idea to pull your, uh, your bolt back like so. Make sure there's nothing in the chamber and then the chamber flag goes in here and it just lets people know that hey it's an empty gun uh, essentially this is what i this is what i bring with me uh when i come out here uh and again this is uh just you know for shooting sage rats uh, basically let me give you a little rundown on sage rats technically a building squirrel um that they call them sage rats i don't know who actually invented that um that would be a good question if anybody could Google it. Uh, basically, uh, I'll buy him a cup of coffee. Uh, to tell me who uh, who came up with the, the word or the name Sage Rat in Hoosiers. Um, the building squirrel, aka Sage Rats, um, basically they'll desecrate the crops out here. So if people like myself don't come out here and shoot them, then the ranchers, farmers will have to um poison the field so that they can grow their crops and sell them at market so basically you know they're gonna die one way or the other whether it's me having a great time or buy some nasty poison i mean hey you know take your pick uh but yeah so i come out here um once a year i do this i have a great time uh again this is just how to have a safe a safe time a safe and fun a uh, fun time uh also, uh, bring the appropriate, appropriate uh, clothing because you can get sunburned out here really easy or windburned. So bring sunscreen, glass, or sunglasses. Um, yeah, food, lots of snacks because you don't want to get uh, uh, you don't want to get uh, hungry because you're far away from the what well, you're about about I'm about 40 minutes from Burns, uh, so it's good to have snacks. Uh, anyhow. If anybody has any questions, uh, comments, or concerns, you know, definitely hit me up. I hope uh, I hope you found this kind of fun and entertaining. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Bye.